I made customizable PC controllers called the Nice Troller. They even have motion control attachments. Let's check it out. These motion control modules turn hand gestures into button presses. Here are the left up builds and the right side smashes. The Nice Troller has all the buttons a standard controller does, but with a little bit of spice. Let me add a little bit of spice. Essentially, these gestures press the buttons for me. The sensitivity, gesture direction, and button configuration can all be customized in software. I think it's important to note that I didn't just wake up one day and make these. It's been a journey, and I wanted to tell you how the Nice Troller came to be, and it all started with these. About a year and a half ago, I started making, and one of my initial inspirations to create a controller was this panel. After lots of searching, I found this awesome tutorial on parts not included on how to emulate an Xbox controller. Also knowing that I had the support of my awesome Twitch community, I jumped right in. And if you haven't seen my stream before, they go a little bit like this. Um, I, I initially, what? <laughs> it can get a little crazy. This is one of my first controller projects. It's an eight button stream deck with a Pro Micro. Then I made a four foot tall PC controller with lots of hot glue and love. Aww. After that, I got a 3D printer and it really changed the game. And it allowed me to make this 25 button stream deck in Fusion 360. I even made it a snap fit case. Enough history, let's go back to the nice troller. This was made in Fusion 360 and the primary shape was made using the form tool. This project was a challenge to myself to improve my Fusion 360 skills and to make it look cool. I don't know how many hours this took to make, but it was a lot. So let's take a peek inside. One of the biggest features to highlight is the top of the controller. This was designed to be fully modular so different attachments could be added. The first one is the force sensing resistor that replaces the standard triggers. It's routed up through that channel into the main body. And this top part here is where the motion control pod is attached. Also, designing everything to fit was no easy task. Yeah. It took quite a few revisions. But lucky for you, it's all free on Cults 3D. Speaking of free, all the code I make is on my GitHub. There are two versions so far, and the base model without motion control is called the Nice Troller. If you would like to make this project, please check out my channel. There are two tutorials reviewing software and motion control. Let's go over the controller components. I'm using one Arduino Pro Micro per controller. Tack switches for buttons. Then I have Arduino joysticks in each controller. For motion, we have MPU 6050s. And then we have a force sensing resistor. I'm using the circular kind here. Let's take a peek inside so I can show you how it's all crammed in there. I mean, strategically placed. It's held together with three self-tapping screws. Can you tell where I gave up on sanding? This is how it all fits together. Pro Micro, switches, joystick, and motion control pod on top. I made the top part modular so new buttons or sensors can always be added. I'm disconnecting the motion control pods to show you some of my other attachments. I chose to connect the module parts with jumper wires so they can be easily disconnected. All right, now it's time to update the software. That's done by connecting a switch to reset and ground and by pressing it twice while uploading. I'm loading in the base software so we can use these like normal controllers. Something interesting to note, we are using two Pro Micros but only need to update the software on one side. Here's the controllers with the new code. Now you can move them around without worrying about pressing a button with gestures. Also, check out the force sensing resistors. The harder I press it, the closer it gets to 100. And if you get tired of having a split controller, you can always get that feeling back with my snack bowl connector. Wow. This little thing actually got me on the front page of Reddit. This is my favorite part of the noise troller, right here. That, right there. Think about the comfort gaming you have. No longer attached like this, you can separate out. And if you miss the feeling, you can always attach a snack bowl connector. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you on the next one.